Dear students, under the topic vector differentiation, we are going to learn about the unit normal vector. So now here, we have to find the unit vector normal to the surface x square plus y square plus 2z square is equal to 4 at the point 1 comma 1 comma 1. So the formula to find the unit vector normal to the surface is nebula phi divided by modulus of nebula phi. So using this we can find the unit vector normal to the given surface. So let us do that. The given surface can be written as a function of phi. That is phi is equal to the surface is x square plus y square plus 2z square and bringing this 4 to the le left it becomes negative 4. So as a uh, function we have written it. So now we have to find nebula phi and modulus of nebula phi in order to substitute here and to find the unit vector normal to this given surface. So in order to find nebula phi we know that nebula phi is given by dou phi by dou x i vector plus dou phi by dou y j vector plus dou phi by dou z k vector. So let us find each of these now. So in this dou phi by dou x is equal to 2x and the remaining all become 0 as we are differentiating partially. In a similar manner dou phi by dou y will be equal to 2y. And also dou phi by dou z will be equal to, now all this will become 0 and here uh, z square we have. So already we have a constant 2. So 2, 2 times is 4 and 4 z will be the answer. That is dou phi by dou z. Now we shall substitute these three in this gradient function. So therefore nebula phi will be equal to, what is dou phi by dou x? It is 2x. So 2x i vector plus dou phi by dou y is 2y j vector plus dou phi by dou z is 4z so it will be 4z k vector. So now we have to find nebula phi at the given point. The point given over here is 1 comma 1 comma 1. So nebula phi at the point 1 comma 1 comma 1 is equal to. So at the place of x, y, z we have to put 1, 1, 1. So when we put 1 here it will be 2i vector plus 2y, I mean now uh, we are going to, we are putting here 1. So it will be 2j vector plus, um, here if you put 1 here it will become 4k vector. So this is nebula phi. Now in order to find the unit vector normal to the surface we have to find, we have found uh, nebula phi. So we have found nebula phi, we have to find its modulus value. So modulus of nebula phi will be equal to square root of 2 square plus again 2 square plus 4 square. And that is equal to square root of 4 plus 4 plus 16 which is equal to square root of 24. So therefore modulus of nebula phi is equal to square root of 24 which can be further written as 4 6 times is 24 and so this will be equal to 2 square root of 6. So therefore modulus of nebula phi is equal to 2 square root of 6. So now what will be the unit vector normal to the surface? It will be nebula phi divided by modulus of nebula phi and so that will be equal to what is nebula phi we have here? So this we have to substitute. So it will be 2i vector plus 2j vector plus 4k vector. The whole divided by what is modulus of nebula phi? It is 2 square root of 6. And we can take the two common in the numerator. So it will be i vector plus j vector plus 2k vector divided by 2 square root of 6. The two in the denominator and the numerator gets cancelled and therefore the final answer will be i vector plus j vector plus 2k vector divided by square root of 6. So I hope you would have understood how to find the unit vector normal to a given surface phi. So in our next video we will learn 
how to find the angle between two given surfaces at a particular point. So kindly follow the next video lecture. Thank you.